Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. And we're playing World Blocks, World Box, not World Blocks, World Box today. And what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna explain the rules first after making a world. So we're gonna make it uh, a Titanic sized world. <laughs> um, let's do six, how about we do, let's do Five small islands, five random shapes, and the water level will be ten. Create. Okay. So what this series is going to be about, this series is going to be like, um, how, okay, the series is going to be like this. Um, it's going to be like, oh, okay, so like, this, th okay, I'll just get straight to the point. Basically, every, like, episode... The comment with the most likes, like whatever they say or whoever, whoever like says the, like writes the comment down, will like be featured in the next video, and what they said to do in the world will do. So if someone says spawn three hundred people in this continent right here, I'll spawn three hundred people, if it get if that comment gets the most likes. If, um, let's say here, I get, like, nuke an entire, nuke your smallest country, I'd have to, like, nuke over here or something. If it said, change the biome from, like, the, the jungle to, like, the corrupted seeds, then I'd do that if it gets the most likes. If it says, make the gray goo destroy five continents or destroy the whole world, you guys, that, that comment has to get the most likes. So you, you guys get the point, right? Mm -hmm. And the only way, if I destroy a civilization, the only way I could get the people back is if someone comments and, and gets the most likes and it says, bring back people to this continent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change some of the biomes a little bit. Actually, no, 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 we're not. But we're going to make it a little different. I don't want any enchanted forests. If you guys want them, just comment down below if you want an enchanted forest. But I think that's a bit, you know, too advanced for right now. Okay. How about this? How about we start with this lovely continent right here? Let's spawn humans. Also, if you want us to make a civilization with only elves, only dwarfs, or only orcs, that might become another series, so we might have four uprunning series. And I know a lot of the series I've started have um, started and never ended, and that's not happening anymore. Every series I make is eventually going to come to its own end that's planned. I'm not just going to give up on it. Okay, I'm going to think of a number between 1 and 10. That's how many people are going to spawn. What do you guys think? Put it in the comment section down below. Pause this video, put it down in the comment section down below, and guess how many humans I'm going to spawn. If you guess seven, you were right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we have seven people in this, in this town that I definitely know how to pronounce. We're going to change that. This is going to be the best town ever. Mm -hmm. This will be the best town ever with a population of seven people on this very small map. And if you guys want me to change the name, just let me know. Give me a name suggestions and we'll do it. And how about this, just so we have a bit more entertainment. Let's spawn seven people here too. <laughs> okay, we got seven people in both. This will just be called, I think you guys won't guess it. Gaming with Chin. Very, you know, hard to tell. We have the best town ever in Gaming with Chin. Now, we're not going to let these grow right now. We're going to let them go. We're going to let them grow, but how about we change some of the laws here? Okay. Internal lava. Lava will stay forever. Lava would stay forever, not cool off to rock. Yes. Peaceful monsters, we can't do that. Animal spawns, yes. What is this? 
yes, we need all the laws that will, like, not help us at all. We're going to add disasters and other disasters. Okay. Yeah, I think we're pretty good here. Okay. And also, some of you guys are probably curious how many achievements do I have. I have 12 out of the 19. As you can see, I'm trying to figure out how to do Ant World. Mayday. Do not try this at home. Move it. Baby Tornado. Burger. And the pie. If you guys, you guys can link a video down below and we can do a video on a separate world. where That's all we do. <laughs> try to get all the achievements. I'll do it. And if you guys have any cool suggestions that you want me to do in like another world, we'll do it. And let's say like th this video, if this, if there's a comment that gets the most likes and it says use Crabzilla to destroy the entire world, I won't do it because it's going to destroy everything and there'll be nothing left. But if there's another comment in second place that says redo the world or like refix the world or make the whole world just soil and forest, then I would do it. <laughs> sure, it looked kind of ugly, but yeah, we'd do it. Uh-huh. And I, I'm i wondering, it, when there's disasters, will it do zombie infections and plagues? Oh, you guys hear that? That was lightning. I have no idea where it struck. Oh, there's more of it. You guys hear that, right? Of course you guys hear that. It's louder than my talking. I'm gonna investigate, guys. <laughs> Okay, let's check in on our villages. Both still have seven people. They're growing. Oh, and something some of you guys might not know, if you click on a person, it will tell you their traits. This person doesn't have any traits, but it shows you their hunger, their intelligence, their word I'm not going to pronounce, their warfare, their, I don't know how to say that. Their attack speed, their speed, their critical hits, their armor, and their damage. So, someone here might have traits. This guy doesn't have traits. This person doesn't have traits. This person might have traits. Yes, they are slow. <laughs> this person, no traits. And, yeah, that's about it. We might, if we go to the other civilization over here, some people might have at least one trait. Um, no one? Nope strong yeah that's strong right strong they are strong so we don't have much people with traits around yet but as the civilizations get bigger the, the, the more you guys saw you guys definitely heard that it was right there yes the rain clouds can summon lightning if we look at it, yeah, right there, right there, another one. Look, there's more. Rain clouds cause lightning, and it's probably going to spread to this land over here. So we got to hope something. Are there, how many rain clouds are around here, guys? <laughs> probably just this one. Hopefully it doesn't struck any of the land over here. But if it does, you know, we can't really save it, because that's not part of the series. Should we do And then we have all these settings that are still coming. Oh, what is this? Map name? Oh, yeah, we're not going to do that. What's this? Port of... No, we won't do that. That's all good. That's okay. How about this? I want to get some destruction in this first episode. Just kidding. We're going to do a quick time lapse, and we're going to see how how much the countries grow at the by the end. Okay, I'm just going to speed up the hourglass and do it like this. And then what will happen is I'll come back in a layer after a time lapse and we'll see. Time lapse starts now. Okay, guys, we're back. I was actually... Um, I'm actually in a time rush, so I can't do a full time lapse, but look, the, the kingdom, kingdoms have grown a little bit, it's been about two minutes since the time lapse started, and this civilization, you know, it's got some stuff, stone, wood, 
wheat, bread, gold. Then this place has got gold, bread, wheat, wood, and stone. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. Now, it was a short episode, but I think this is a perfect spot to leave it off. I hope you guys watched. Um, com the second place comment will also get a shout out. The person who suggests the idea that gets the most likes will also get a shout out. Goodbye guys and I'll see you in the next one. Later.